Why is coffee addictive? Coffee, following water, is the most popular drink in the world. Each day, our planet consumes nearly 1.5 billion cups of coffee, in the morning or after a meal, but also during a break from work or class. Coffee reduces the sense of fatigue, increases concentration and memory, and gives you energy boosts. In fact, when you drink a steaming cupful, it stimulates heart and nerve functions, giving the body a feeling of well-being. Oh, yeah. These benefits exist thanks to caffeine. Caffeine is rapidly absorbed by the intestines and raises the levels of adrenaline, a hormone that results in tons of effects. It stimulates the central nervous system, reduces fatigue, improves muscle contraction, increases heart rate, increases the oxygenization of the blood and more. However, caffeine isn't only found in coffee, but also in many plants, a whole 63 species, and in many foods, tea, chocolate, cola, energy drinks, guarana, analgesic drugs, just to name a few. For these reasons, at the end of a long day, the amount of caffeine ingested increases significantly, up to the point of creating, over time, an actual addiction, with all the psychological and physical symptoms that come with the dependencies of other substances, such as alcohol, nicotine, or drugs. Similar to drugs, caffeine also elevates the level of dopamine, a substance that generates a feeling of pleasure for the entire body. The more you drink it, the more you feel the need to drink it, to have the same pleasurable feeling. It's no coincidence that coffee was once branded by the church as the devil's drink for its stimulating properties. Consuming large amounts of caffeine leads to a condition called caffeinism, when, for a long period of time, you exceed a daily intake of 5 cups of espresso, the body starts developing a sort of caffeine addiction, which can be followed by symptoms such as irritability, insomnia, heart palpitations, and headaches. It's safe to say that caffeine is therefore the most common legal drug, and although in the right doses it could have positive effects, in the long run, if overconsumed, it can eventually be bad for your health. Today, as a result, coffee and all high caffeinated foods are often recommended to those who want to lose weight. Some studies have confirmed its ability to accelerate your metabolism. Five or six coffees increase metabolism by 10 to 15 percent. This fat burning effect has increased significantly the number of people who consume excessive amounts of caffeine, especially among young women. But science tells us that an excessive consumption of this substance can be very harmful to one's health. Too much caffeine increases blood pressure, facilitates the loss of calcium through urine and therefore increases the risk of osteoporosis, causes nervousness and irritability, can contribute to the formation of stomach ulcers, amplifies the state of anxiety, promotes dehydration, and more. Taking too much coffee could be very dangerous. Just think that caffeine can cause hallucinations and even death. But you have to assume a lot, about 100 cups in less than 4 hours. So it's okay to drink coffee in order to work better and feel fit, but be sure not to overdo it. The positive effects of caffeine are obtained with a dose of 5 mg per kilogram of body weight. An average person can assume about 300 mg per day that are contained in 3 cups of espresso. Ingesting more than the recommended amount doesn't add benefits, it cancels them. Those who have stomach, heart, and or bladder problems must pay particular attention to coffee consumption. These subjects should severely limit if not eliminate coffee and caffeine rich food because in these cases even low doses of the substance can have highly negative effects. Want more videos like this? Let us know by liking it. Download our apps to better yourself. Subscribe to the channel to receive new videos and follow us on the portal to discover a world of well-being. Join the community for updates and discussions.